So, this is the Cardianon home planet? It doesn't look like any planet I've ever seen. Yes, more like a giant space fortress. It's all chunky and spiny and looks like it had hurt. However, our coordinates are correct. This is Arcturus 8, Cardianon. <laughs> What's happening? Report! The fortress is emitting some kind of magnetic field. We're being pulled in! A tractor beam? <sighs> we can't break free! <sighs> Forgive me. If only I'd noticed sooner. Edge, they're not responding to communications. Pulling us in without so much as a warning. That's not playing very nice. Edgy, are we gonna get captured? Hey, look on the bright side. Maybe we're guests. Guests, right. We've landed. No damage to the ship. No welcoming party, huh? Either they don't think much of us, or they've set us a trap. Their tractor beam is still in operation. I think we can safely say they've no intention of letting us go. All right, here's what we're going to do. First, gather information on anything related to the Aquila or the mystery object on Limeris. Second, Deactivate the tractor beam and get the hell out of this fortress. Judging by their welcome, we may end up having to fight with Cardianon along the way, but... Let's hope that doesn't happen. That's all. Any questions? Great. Let's go. I knew they weren't going to play nice with us. It appears we have no choice. We'll simply have to proceed prepared for battle.
I'm so glad everyone's safe. this a morgue don't say things like that edge these cardianon are in cold sleep cold sleep i can't begin to imagine why but most of the cardianon must be in stasis here well i guess that's why we haven't seen very many of them it's huh so cold in here oh when you're cold the best thing to do is get moving kay huh <laughs> Ouch. Mm, it's mean to trip people, Kay. What happened, honey? What? This this is one of those lizard men we fought on Lemuris. Did they mutate inside their capsules? Or did they mutate after they got out? Hmm. Is this the same thing we saw happening on Lemuris? What the? Whatever it is, it's coming this way. Let's take a different corridor. We don't need any trouble we can avoid. Come on, Lim. Okay, let's go.
Cardianon seem to be an even more vicious species than I thought. They've been forcefully taking over planets with undeveloped civilizations, one by one. It seems the invasion of Lemuris was only a small part of their plans. FaZe! Uh, I... I'm sorry, Limmel. That was insensitive of me. Mm, it's fine. I understand, Kay. In any case, we can hardly leave the Cardianon alone now, can we? We know what we have to do. I couldn't live with myself if we let something like the tragedy on Lemuris happen again. Well, before we can do anything, we need more information. How is it looking, Face? Yes. Let's see if there's anything else. Wait! Stop it right there! Oh, okay. Edge, isn't that... Yeah. It looks like the source of the disease on Lemuris. Phase, pull up detailed data on this thing. I'm afraid I can't. The data's protected too heavily to break into. <sighs> I can read the file name, the Epiphanies of Guidance, but that's all I can access. The Epiphanies of Guidance? Hmm, that doesn't tell us anything at all. However, there seems to be something important inside this central isolation chamber, though I can't get any details. Do you think? There might be another one of those objects there. All right, let's head for that isolation chamber. Damn it! Well, that's sure not getting us anywhere. This room must be protected by some sort of energy field. One that can render any attack powerless. Uh. I've actually been having Limmel here try uh. her hand as well. This is weird. I can't use my symbology. As you can see, the field even disables symbology. That alone is impressive enough, but... We were transported to this room in an instant. That was matter transference. Teleportation. An energy field and teleportation? <laughs> They're certainly not lacking for technology. Thus is the wisdom granted to us by the epiphanies of guidance. It is useless to resist. Who's there? Huh? 
What's this floaty floaty thing? It would seem we've been scanned. Ugh, how embarrassing. Are you a Cardianon? Where are you? How about you quit prying on us and show yourself? <gasps> Cease your bellowing, inferior being. You would do well to realize your place. Are you the leader of this ship? And what if I am? Because if you are, I've got something to ask you. What are these epiphanies of guidance? What was that thing that made such a mess on Lemuris? Our friend's home! Answer me! Edgy. We, the Cardinan, shall be the rulers of this infinite cosmos. We have been blessed by the gods. All inferior beings will be eliminated. What? It's okay, honey. We're with you. You're out of your mind! You think it's okay to cause pain because you're some kind of superior beings? We are merely implementing the natural laws of nature. You bastard! If I may interject, you have not yet answered the key question. What do you hope to gain from knowing the words of the gods? The what? Well, well. So, you are descendants of the Mua. Mua? Impurities are of no use to us. You, of Muan blood. Muan blood? Is he talking about us? We issue a mandate. You will stop the Steel Giant. Steel... Giant? You will instruct the Steel Giant to cease its destructive activities and surrender at once. Hold on! What the hell is this Steel Giant? An invader. It came here with an accomplice who escaped our grasp. Another descendant of the Mua, like yourselves. In fact, he wore the exact same symbol as you. You're saying he had the SRF emblem on him? We believed we had captured his ship. But apparently, yours was merely a vessel of the same design. However, your vessel also bore precious specimens. Two, in fact. Thus is the will of the gods. The same design? The same emblem? <laughs> so, he actually was here after all. I think I finally understand the cause of all the damage we've seen on this ship. Everything is because of this steel giant's destructive activities. It's no wonder the Cardianon paid us so little attention. In any event, you are to be used as specimens. You will enlighten the giant before you are disposed of. Heed my words and instruct it immediately. Surrender at once! Fine. You want some instruction, huh? Edge! <sighs> my name is Edge Maverick! I'm a friend of Crows! Listen! I have no idea who or what you are! But, if you came here with Crow... Don't hold anything back! Smash this ship to pieces! The Cardian Honor are insane! We do not understand your actions. You will remain in confinement here until your punishment has been decided. Um, sorry? There's no need to apologize. Frankly, I feel relieved. You sure told him. Edgy, you're so cool. Yep, just like you, Edge. Though I do think you went a little bit overboard. 
What these Cardianon are doing just isn't right. I know you would have acted the same way, Crow. What now? Alert. The steel what giant is approaching. Quickly. What number gate is being breached? We must hurry. At this rate, the specimens are going to escape. <laughs> mm. I can't see. What is that? I don't know. But if I had to venture a guess... I'd say it's probably the Cardianon's steel giant. Ah, it's coming this way. I am Bacchus D-79 of the Morphous. Please, come with me. W wait a minute! Just like that you expect us to follow you? Hmm. So you must be Mr. Edge Maverick. Huh? Your voice print data matches that of the call broadcast throughout this ship earlier. Let us go then, Mr. Edge Maverick. Just hold on a second, okay? First, I want to say thanks for coming to help us. And next, there's something I need to ask you. The thirst for knowledge always presents chances to gain insight. As a humble scientist, I would like nothing more than to answer your questions. However, our current reality does not permit leisurely conversation. Let us go, Mr. Edge Maverick. Fair enough. I'll save the questions for later, Mr. Bacchus. As you wish, Mr. Edge Maverick. Incidentally, please feel free to call me Bacchus. Will do, Bacchus. Likewise, you can just call me Edge. As you wish, Mr. Edge. No, I mean... Ugh, never mind. So, where are we going? The Central Isolation Chamber. There I can fulfill my duty. Your duty? The objects known as the Epiphanies of Guidance. It is my duty to put an end to them. I see. Well, that's convenient. Hmm? Uh, just, we need to be getting there ourselves. Intruder detected! <laughs> Let's go. 
glad everyone looks like I'm a different person now. I can't stop yet. But I will strive ever higher. I'm gonna get even stronger, okay?
was just getting warmed up. Rip can't stop yet. Looks like I'm a different person now. I will strive ever higher. I'm even stronger than Faze, Kate.
say, that wasn't very challenging.
bigger than the one on Lemuris. So this is the Grigori. Everyone, please step back. I have never had an opportunity to destroy a Grigori before, but this should be sufficient. What? Hey! B Bacchus! Cover your ears. So the explosive power of a specialized warhead was sufficient. <laughs> My calculations were correct. They must have been very, uh, precise calculations. Well, anyway, our work here is done. Now the Cardianon will... <gasps> What's that? Not from before! They're dangerous! The evolution they cause isn't natural! If you keep this up, you'll meet the same fate as your home planet! We have become gods! The epiphanies of guidance have made us gods! You're not becoming gods! You're becoming irrational monsters! Nobody should want that! The epiphanies of guidance have made us all who are one! All who are one! We are gods! Gods of the cosmos! Yeah, It's no use, Edge. He's not going to listen to anything we say. But... But... Inferior beings, you shall be crushed unto dust! What is happening to him? Wait, this is... Yes, what we saw in Lemuris.
wanted to be able to save him, you know? Edge truly is an impressive man, isn't he? I don't really get it. But... I know those rocks are worse than the baddest bad guy. So I'm not gonna be mad at these people anymore, okay? And you're just as impressive, Limmel. Let's hurry to the reactor, people! We're gonna shut that tractor beam down and get out of here! Right! Filthy, inferior beings. We are taking you with us. Look out! Bacchus! Bacchus, are you alright? Operation Level C. Repair feasible. I have slightly limited use of my left leg and right arm, but it is not a problem. <sighs> Ooh, you big dummy. I was so scared. But... Thank you, Kay. You saved our lives. It is nothing to concern yourselves with. I have only done what should be expected of a comrade. I see. Can you walk? Locomotion may prove somewhat difficult, but I will manage. 
Don't push yourself. Help me out here, FaZe. Of course. You, you are indeed as heavy as you look. Forgive me. I am in your debt. Don't worry about it. You saved our lives. This is nothing. I'm afraid he really is heavy. That's the weight of our lives, FaZe. Deal with it. Believe me, I am. Finished here. Me too. Then this uh, should do it. Generator shutdown confirmed. And the tractor beam is down. It's a success. Now what? I don't know. We just shut down the generator, so there shouldn't be. Allow me to investigate. Limmel, would you mind climbing down for a moment? Okay. I have detected the activation of an emergency power system. A countdown to warp seems to have been initiated. A countdown to warp? Huh? It would appear to be an emergency evacuation system built into the Cardianon mothership. Evacuation? To where? I'm unable to locate the preset coordinates in my database. I believe it is uncharted space, to which no established routes exist. And at this rate, we'll be taken along with it when the countdown ends. Yes. And if we are cast away into such uncharted space, there is an exceedingly high probability that we will never be able to return. Wait, what? Please do not worry. My search of our surroundings shows an emergency bypass up ahead. Please use it to escape and return to your ship. Bacchus, you're not... As you can see, my present condition will not allow rapid movement. Please, forget about me, and go quickly. Do, do you really think we're going to leave you? With your assistance, I have successfully fulfilled my duty. I have no particular regrets. What? No, Baki. You're coming with us, Kay. Please, don't concern yourselves. It's not as if I'm going to die. Even if not, you'll still never be able to return, correct? That might as well be death! Mr. Edge, I believe you are the ranking officer among all those present. It is your duty to make a realistic decision for yourself and your crew. Please think rationally. What you see before you is nothing more than broken scrap. Feel free to cast it aside, without any feelings of guilt. Uh, no! Don't be ridiculous! You aren't scrap to us at all! You sacrificed your own safety to save our lives! You're our friend! Miss Raimi... No, it is not to be. Please release my hand and hurry. No, I won't! We're getting out of here together, and that's final! I'm helping too. I don't want to lose a friend. I would be so sad, Kay. Lemo. Ah, uh, you'd better just give up, Bacchus. Once my old childhood pal and this little girl here get going, there's really no stopping them. I think it would be best if we all leave together, don't you? And I believe you said it yourself. Only doing what should be expected of a comrade, was it? <coughs> this might get a little bumpy, but you can deal with it, right? He's rather sturdy. I think he can deal with it. You... what do you think you're trying to... <coughs> All right, we're out of time. Make a dead run for the countless people, and don't let go of our friend here. Yes, yes sir! sir. Between you and Mr. Crow, Ugh. I've 
I've certainly met some outrageous people lately. Ugh! Not that I'm complaining. Ugh! Trapped here as well. <laughs> uh, um, who are you? Huh. You're not the red haired man after all. Huh? Hmm, I wonder who that was. It looks like she used a lightning symbol. I don't think she was a Cardian on. Red-haired man... did she mean...? I'm afraid I can only see the ceiling, and thus am at a loss to fully digest the current situation. But I believe we had best hurry. Uh, that's right! Move it, people! Disappeared. It warped Limmel, along with all the Grigori's secrets. The Cardianon were conducting acts of aggression through use of the Grigori. That cannot be condoned. But... If there were no Grigori, the Cardianon would have evolved normally. They wouldn't have invaded Lemuris. If there were no Grigori... The Grigori are gone. The Cardianon said it himself, remember? It was their final epiphany. Yeah, but... Edgy, nothing like what happened to my home will ever happen again. That's all that matters, Kay. Limmel. You're right. I guess we actually were able to protect Lemuris this time. We were. I'm really glad. Edge, you haven't done a single thing wrong since you took command. I think you should try trusting yourself for a change. Just let yourself be Edge. Good old Edge, okay? You've gotta be optimistic, right? Yeah, we do. I'm counting on you guys, alright? Mr. Crow, the friend of whom you were so proud truly is a straight arrow. Being with him and his crew, 
It makes warmth radiate throughout even my cold steel body.
home, Master. Oh. Uh. Is there something the matter, Master? Uh... What exactly do you think you're doing? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? <laughs> it's a Victorian maid outfit. I found it in some historical literature. Literature? Yep. I was flipping through some history books, and apparently men love being addressed as Master. Well, did you? Uh, hold on. I'm not sure I really get this. Why would men enjoy being called Master? Hmm, I don't know. They're really old books. Okay, how about I try this? Yeah! Tra-la-la, -la, I love you, big brother! <laughs> well, are you smitten? Did you enjoy that? Okay, I'm getting more and more confused here. Big brother? I don't even have a little sister. Take a good look here. I'm not just the little sister type. I have glasses on. Glasses! Is that supposed to mean something? I don't know. What were people thinking back then? What were they trying to leave future generations with literature like that? Beats the heck out of me. That was a long time ago. Well, anyway, what's important to us is the here and now. We do live in the present, after all. True. Let's not get hung up on the past. Live in the moment. Reflection is at times necessary. There are always new discoveries to be made by studying history. People's behavior accumulates and thus becomes history. It is our responsibility to pass that on to the future. Yes, as the witnesses to that history. Anyway, let's get back to that item creation. Aye aye, sir! Gravitational anomaly ahead! It looks like... Oh, no, this can't be right! At this strength, it's a black hole! The current situation is everything, Mr. Faze. Allow me, then, to explain the phenomenon of black holes appearing in deep space, along with my own theories about them. Sorry, Bacchus, but save the lecture for another time. We have to concentrate on getting out of here! Raimi! Give me 30 seconds! I'm inputting the gravity changes for emergency warp! Edge! Look! It's really black and smoky. Is that the black hole? I've lost control of the Calvis! Raimi! Too late! We won't make it!
We... survived. Is everyone okay? Yes, I think. That was fun. It was all zap, boom, okay? <sighs> what are we going to do with you, Lemel? We were definitely caught in the black hole. Did we escape from its event horizon then? No, I'm afraid that would be impossible. Perhaps it just happened to be a black hole with an ergosphere? Hmm, I suppose one might call it an escape through a type of wormhole. In any event, the fact that we escaped at all can only be called a miracle. Impossible! No, I'm certain my analysis is correct. No way! Miss Raimi, you doubt me as well? This is... Our homeworld? Is this Earth? Are we sure then? Yes, the results are the same every time I check. The stellar coordinates are an almost perfect match. There's no question that this planet is Earth. I see. What's wrong? This is Edgy and Ray Ray's home, isn't it? But both of them don't look very happy about it. I don't think it's so much unhappiness as it is bewilderment. Indeed. Arriving at one's home planet under such strange circumstances would put anyone ill at ease. That's not the whole problem. There are subtle discrepancies between this Earth and ours. This isn't the most flattering part of our planet's history, but... A little before Raimi and I were born, the worst war in all of Earth's history occurred. The result was that the surface of the planet became terribly contaminated, and humans had no choice but to go deep underground. It's been the same situation ever since we were born. The polluted environment still hasn't improved. Of course, that was the very reason we looked to space. But there are no traces of pollution on the surface of this planet. Well, it's not quite accurate to say none at all, but it's still an environment in which humans could live. It's almost like the war that nearly destroyed our planet never even happened. Indeed. The fact that something you took for granted suddenly no longer applies is somewhat troubling. And there's another thing. The organization we belong to, the USTA? I can't get through to headquarters. Hmm. Mysterious issues all. Something unexpected may have happened here in your absence. Hmm? Uh, what is it, Lim? Everyone stops standing around and being all weird, Kay. Let's go out. I want to see Edgy and Ray Ray's home. What? Uh, um, you see, Lemo. All right. Edge? The air outside seems breathable. I'm going out there to take a look. See if we can't find someone. In that case, I shall join you. And I as well. As a scientist, I am intrigued. Me too. Lemo, you stay and watch the ship with Raimi, okay? Hmm. Raimi, take care of Limo while we're out. Gotcha. Hey! Don't do anything stupid, Edge. Don't worry, I'll make certain of it. Yes, you may count on me, too. Uh, why are the two of you answering for me? I guess I won't have to worry if Faze and Bacchus are with you. Hmm. <laughs> This place is... deserted. It sure is, and has been for some time, from the looks of things. For now, let's split up and see what we can uncover. Report if you find anything.
Huh? What? This can't be. Judging from the color degradation caused by ultraviolet rays, I'd say it's been abandoned for about three years. I suppose that's not particularly important, but... Well, don't jump to conclusions, FaZe. If nothing else, I just figured out when we are. The date on this magazine is too faded to read, but there was an article inside that caught my attention. Two years after initial experiments, our country has at last perfected the ultimate doomsday weapon. The hydrogen bomb, is what it says. If I remember my history, the first practical hydrogen bomb on Earth was developed in 1954. So basically, if you're saying this magazine is three years old, that would put us in the year 1957. In other words, we're on the Earth of nearly 150 years ago. <gasps> the Earth of 150 years ago? That... that's not even possible. I'm not so certain. Mr. Faze. What? Even you, Bacchus? Mr. Edge, a short time ago I intercepted some radio waves, albeit weak ones. Radio waves? Like old broadcast radio? The transmission was as follows. Some days ago, the historic honor of launching the first artificial satellite slipped through our fingers, instead going to the Reds. This unfortunate occurrence has prompted the President to announce new plans for manned rocket missions, promising to put men in space before our rivals. Mr. Edge, how would you interpret this information? Anyone who's ever dreamed of going into outer space knows the story. The first successful launch of a man-made satellite was... the middle of the last century, 1957. No wonder we can't reach anyone. In 1957, the USTA wasn't even a twinkle in someone's eye. Honestly, I can't believe it. But with this much evidence piling up, I guess we have no choice but to face reality. The planet we made our emergency landing on may be Earth. But it's an Earth from almost 150 years in the past. Didn't you mention this sort of thing before, Phase? An error in mid-warp that can cause a ship to end up in another time entirely? No, this situation is somewhat different. That was brought about by the distortion caused by warping within the space-time continuum. The dangers associated with it are nothing more than arriving earlier or later on the standard temporal axis. If the theory we're positing here is true, it would be time regression. And such a thing is absolutely not possible. Though, with the situation as it is, I hesitate to apply the term, absolutely. Hmm. If we posit that time regression has indeed occurred, it would mean we're now located in a space topologically distinct from that in which we were previously. In the current situation, I do not yet have enough information to say whether such a thing is even possible. But if the reality is that we now stand upon the past Earth, we have no choice but to accept it as fact. So, let me get this straight. We've been transported to the Earth of 150 years in the past. And we currently have no way of getting back, right? If this truly is the Earth of another time, then yes. I'm afraid there is nothing we can do to return. Hmm... The only thing I can say for certain is this. It's pointless to keep standing around here. Let's return to the Kalnus and review the situation together. Then we can decide what to do. What?! The Kalnus! Damn it! When did they get here? 
They're quite well regulated. I suppose they must be soldiers of some sort. Even so, they've arrived much too quickly. They must have a base of operations nearby. It would seem this was more than just a ghost town. This isn't Let's Swap Theories time! Raimi and Limmel are still inside! Wait. All they want is to capture the extraterrestrials inside. If nothing else, I can assure you no one will be harmed. I wouldn't go recklessly provoking them if I were you. Who are you? You refer to us as extraterrestrials quite casually. Are you with those soldiers over there? What do you people want from us? My... My name is Klaus Bachtein. You have to trust me. I'm your friend. <sighs> Mr. Bakhtai, I must request an explanation. On what ground should we consider you to be our friend? Fair enough. But first we must find a better place to talk. You'll all be found if we stay here. You see the house with the red roof over there? That's my home. Come with me. I'll give you the details there. Edge, are you really going to trust him? We must keep in mind that this may be a trap. Or, he might really want to help us. If nothing else, he presented himself to us unarmed. Besides, he has no idea who or what we are, yet he shows his back to us? That's not the kind of man I want to doubt. Thank you. That is very like Mr. Edge. Yes, I am truly no match for him. Edgy! Limmel? Good grief. Please don't scare us like that. For a moment, I thought it really was a trap. But still, what are you doing here, Lemel? Yeah, weren't you staying in the Kalnis? Mm. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What exactly happened, Lemel? Klausi. Allow me to explain. I see. So that's what this is all about. Your country's army has troops stationed at a base here, and the ruined town serves to camouflage it. Interesting. So the men surrounding the Kalnis were indeed soldiers after all. But... Limmel... Raimi was captured trying to protect you. While we're all glad Klaus rescued you, you shouldn't have been so careless as to leave the Kalnis. I'm sorry. I was a bad girl. And now Ray Ray's gone. But, well, I suppose there's little point in scolding you after the fact. But... If you're truly sorry about what happened, that's more than enough. Not even Raimi would be angry with you, Limmel. Edgy. Besides, I'm partially responsible for this myself. It was a mistake to split us up under conditions like these. I won't make that mistake again. Let's go, people. We're rescuing Raimi. It's nearly impossible to get into the base from outside. Why don't you leave this part to me? What do you mean? We'll pretend that I've apprehended you, and that I'm bringing you in. That should allow us to get inside without causing too much fuss. I see. 
Yes, that would certainly allow us to avoid unnecessary trouble. But one question remains. Which is? What exactly is your motive for assisting us? Hmm. Forgive me, but you're far too knowledgeable about what's happening here. What if he hands us all over together? Are you that kind of man, Klaus? <sighs> you have every right to doubt me. But even so, I want to help you. All right. In that case, I'll leave our method of entry into the base to you, Klaus. Edge! Klaus saved Limmel after all. And Limmel isn't the kind of girl who would get this close to someone who couldn't be trusted. But more than anything else, I trust him. Like I said, he came to us unarmed, and he turned his back on us without hesitation. It would appear you have lost again, Mr. Faze. So it would appear indeed. <laughs> Thank you. You may have already suspected this, but the truth is, I once worked at the base myself as a scientist. I was involved with research into a certain field. My field was extraterrestrials and the super technology they brought with them. Mr. Bakhtine, are you implying that the existence of extraterrestrials is known on this planet? Well, not by the public, of course. And that's exactly why the researchers must be having trouble controlling their excitement right about now. Why would that be? It's not very often they get their hands on an unscathed ship like your Kalnus. Not to mention uninjured extraterrestrials. If they can understand your technology and make it their own, these people who once struggled in obscurity can suddenly become heroes. Two birds with one stone. Your super technology, their fame. They'll be able to go public. They do it without even stopping to consider how dangerous such advanced technology might be. What kind of scientist would accept a breakthrough handed to him on a plate? We need to catch up with you on our own, through our own abilities. To be honest, our species just isn't ready for your technology. So once you've rescued your friend, I want you to leave this planet as soon as possible. If I must have a motive, I suppose that would be it. I see. Actually, there's one other thing I need to ask. As it happens, there's another extraterrestrial besides your friend who's being held captive in the base. There are extraterrestrials on Earth other than us? Yes, a young girl named Miracle. She has ears and a tail that look just like that cat's. You'll know her when you see her. <sighs> I beg of you, take Miracle back to our home planet. You have my word. We'll do our best to get her home. Thank you.
As per arrangements, from here on out, I will hold onto your weapons and conceal myself. Baki! Baki disappeared! <gasps> Is that symbology? It's optical camouflage. Incredible to think such advanced technology has been perfected. I'll feel much safer indeed with Bacchus watching our backs. No kidding. Excuse me for just a moment. I need to call in. It's me, Mila. Yes, I'm getting by. I thought I might cooperate with you today. I'm serious. Not being able to work convinced me that you were right. Think they know each other? Sounds that way to me. I brought a little something we can use to continue our research together. That's right. I'd like permission to enter. A03. Understood. Get the entrance, would you? Amazing. Getting in alone would have been difficult indeed. The base is below. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> 